Uh oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm just I'm just so excited, man. I'm so excited. I know. <laughs> Jesus! Oh! I know y'all. I just got off live. I know I just got off live, but I have to share with you the the end part. I have to share with you uh uh the part 2. Come on, Jesus. So, ah. Uh, God, hey. Oh, I feel the Holy Spirit. Lord, 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 Lord. Help me. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> Help me calm down and get this word across the way that you would, you know, the way that you want it to be. Help it make sense. Help it be plain, Lord. All of you, none of me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, okay, hey, if you ain't watched the video that I just made, it's the live right before, I mean like 10 minutes ago. If you haven't watched that, y'all gotta go watch that. Um, and then what I'm about to say will truly make sense. But listen, 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 listen. God literally just said, oh, come on, Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. So me, myself, right? All people, all people born illegitimately, right? Meaning not of two parents who were married. All people, including myself, that were not born like that. We are literally the result of our parents not walking in intimate purpose with God. Intimate purpose with God. Right. So in a previous video, I went over and I talked about how, you know, our baby fever is because it comes over us when we're not married because it's God trying to let us know, yo, I need intimacy with you so that we can create something. And that baby that y'all birth, you feel me? You and Jesus, not you and a physical person, you and Jesus, that baby that y'all birth, amen, is going to be your provider. It's going to be your purpose. It's going to be how God gets you everything that you need. It's going to be how you are allowed to live that abundant life that he promised you in the beginning, that blessed life. So please hear me. Look at it. Look at it for what it is. All of us who were born illegitimately, let's be real. We are the result of our parents not walking in that intimate purpose with our Father, with Jesus Christ. You feel me? Wow, and that is so deep. That is so deep. And let's be real. You may love your kids, you know what I'm saying, and all of that, but they will still never be able to fill that void that we missed out on. I can't say we. I don't have no kids <laughs> that you missed out on. <laughs> Oh Lord Jesus, come on God. We're just we're we're the closest thing that can replace it. You know? Well, since I can't get it spiritually, I guess I try to get it naturally. Wow, man. Ah. I'm stuck, y'all. I really am. I'm stuck. I'm stuck cuz when you look at it like that, that changes everything. Look and check this out. That's why he says that um that's why he says that those you will, you will get the blessings from your generations that the people before you didn't walk in. Oh, that's good news. I'm telling you now, if you got a messed up family, if you got a messed up family, you might want to turn to Christ like right now, like this second, because you're going to have the best life ever after that, bro. Everything that they missed out on, you're going to get. Like everything who wouldn't want that even if you have a great family god is so good that he still was gonna bless them anyway so somebody missed out on something so you might as well receive those blessings come on man that's good news that's good news but understand it also works vice versa because it also says the lord also tells us that um generational curses are real and it will continue to trickle down and trickle down and trickle down until somebody finally decides to not just accept christ but to walk like christ and and then things will change so so if you do have to look at your family you do see that ain't nobody really walked that walk it may be time it may be time for you to go ahead and walk wake up and, and, and by maybe, I mean it is. Yeah, it is. But that's it, man. That's it. I just felt the Holy Spirit come over me. I had to throw that on here. That's it. We all illegitimate. <laughs> we, we, man, 
But you know, at the same time, that's why our purpose is so strong. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So our purpose is so uh, strong and so prevalent because the purpose of our parents was there. But instead of them conceiving in the spirit, amen, they conceived in the natural. And so now that has to fall down onto somebody else. So congratulations. It's your turn. <laughs> Hey, it's my turn, Jesus. I got it. <laughs> it's, it's my turn. It's my turn. It's your turn. It's our turn. It's our turn. Amen. So I'm going to say this and I'm off. If you were conceived illegitimately, if your parents were not married, rejoice. Rejoice because they missed out on their intimate purpose with God. And now that falls on you as long as you walk like Christ. Oh, and what he say? Hey, I'm not no, I am not no singer, but I am a worshiper. So now I understand what the Lord meant when He said, "There's an army rising up." Come on, come on up. Bro, I'm about to get off of here because I'm too hype. Ain't nobody even hype with me. Are y'all understanding this? Do you get what this means? Do you realize how many illegitimate babies? People are on this earth and all they have to do is follow Christ and they get everything, everything that everyone before them missed out on. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Jesus. Oh, I pray. Oh, I just... Thank you, Jesus. What an awesome God. Walk in your purpose. Be intimate with Christ. Have babies with him first so that he can get you where you need to go. Right? That's such good news. That's such good news, y'all. That's such good news. And dear Heavenly Father, right now in the name of Jesus... In the name of Jesus, I pray for each and every person that this video will come across, Lord. I pray that this message can, can register and be accepted into their heart, Lord. Yes, Lord, speak to them directly. Speak to them clearly, dear Heavenly Father. Let them really be able to ooh, grasp that power, Lord. Let them be able to pull, put on that full armor of God. Let them be able to say, if they have not, say... I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Not only that, I'm going to walk like him. And for all of us who have already decided to walk like Christ, let us do it even more. Come on now, you was perfect. <laughs> So we got a long way to go, amen. There is nothing or no one else, amen, that we should be able to even try to compare ourselves to. Who you want to be like, Jesus? Come on now. That's that's who I want to be like. That's that's who I want to be like. You know? That's who I want to be like. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So to all of my illegitimate babies out there, blessings to you. The Lord says, as soon as you make that decision to surrender your life to Christ and walk like him, you will have all things, all power, and every blessing that your people missed out on, your parents, your parents' parents, so far and so on, it will all fall up on you. Mm -mm -mm. Be ready to be blessed. That's something you really can't even prepare for. You just, hey... Just sit back and be ready to be in awe. You feel me? God is good. God is good. May his love, grace, and blessings follow you in this life and the eternal as well. Y'all be blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.